It's been a while since I made a video. So, I thought I'd make one here. We got a pretty good diagnosis here. The unit is a train, variable speed. I believe it's an XL. Let's see. 1600. XL 1600 and uh, as you can see it's it's not that bad uh, and uh, there's no AC no air blowing inside the house so we're gonna flip it on here See it guys. The motor's hunting. But I can't figure it out. So I gotta shut her back down. That's what's going on. I've already ran the unit itself. Everything else is coming on. Condensed fan motor. Check the voltage coming to the motor. Voltage is good coming to the motor. And as you can see, we're hunting, and it's just not finding, finding itself. So uh, we got us a motor here. If the module was bad. module is a programmable one horse train if the module was bad it wouldn't hunt at all I don't believe so we are going to um, place the motor we're gonna put this old module back on and now uh, hopefully when she hunts she's gonna find a direction she's gonna turn and get us some cooling in here for these people here. And, uh, has she had a company come out for me? They quoted her out about fourteen hundred dollars, and uh, they were going to replace both the motor and the module. I hadn't seen the invoice, but she just said the motor, but. I believe for that money they're probably charging for the to have the motor in the uh, the module replace both for that price. So here we are on the model. It's a YCZ DV. It's a uh, there's a serial. So that's it, guys. We're gonna get this new motor on. It's old module on the new motor. So. All right, guys, we got our old motor out here. This is a GE. There's your model. We're going to test these. Uh, this is basically just a three-phase motor, so we're going to test these wires here. On each winding through the motor should be... Plus or minus, you know, five percent, I believe, maybe ten percent, but uh, they should be fairly close to each other. Each one of the measurements. So we're going to go from red to black, and then we're going to go from blue to black, and then we're going to go from red to blue. So we're going to three measurements here, and let's see what they are.
Oh, well, I can't get it to stand up. There we go. Maybe you guys can do that. But uh, we're basically at OL. I'm going to put them together. See what we got. We got 1.4, so it's it's a 1.4 out of calibration. So anyway, we're just measuring, comparing each one, so it's not going to matter about the calibration anyway. So on red to black, got 2.6. Red to blue, got 5.1. 5.1 blue to black we got 5.6 so we got 5.1 and 5.6 and that's accurate and that's within range of each other but this this first measurement we took from red to black this is too far out of measurement here something's wrong with that winding there's no doubt about it so we can without even turning the unit on we can definitively say without a doubt that this motor is bad and you have to pull that module off of it to get to these three wires so we were correct in the thought that in the diagnosis that uh, if the module was bad it wouldn't hunt at all and because it's hunting and not finding its true spot and starting to turn that something is wrong with the motor itself so I want to make this one video for you guys and I, I have a um, ECM uh, a zebra kit that I used on it initially uh, to diagnose it too and all I did with my zebra was uh, you can see in there you got two sets of wires you just uh, unhook that 16 pin connector and you plug that zebra up to it and it will run this motor and if the motor won't run, then there's something wrong with the motor or the module, either one or the other. So, uh, with the Zebra kit, I can definitively tell, without a doubt, that the board is uh, not the problem. Uh, the motor or the module is the problem. So from there, I look at what the motor is doing. Um, and it was doing both the same thing. It was hunting both with the unit board hooked up to it and my zebra hooked up to it. So because it was hunting, we uh, diagnosed it as the motor and the module being good. So we're going to start this thing and we're going to see um, see what she's going to do. We'll get back with you guys in a minute. guys we're gonna turn it back off we're gonna button it all back up we're gonna button it up and call it done save the customer oh let's see uh, at least 600 let's see seven hundred dollars on this repair they were gonna replace both the motor and the module for 13 I think 1300 somewhere around there and uh, we saved them seven hundred dollars. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep these videos going. When you know you get a lot of the same old same calls, you know. So I'm not recording them anymore, and I'm just recording now. Just calls or I have things I haven't really touched on, and things that I think really are important. And uh, so we'll see you guys next time. And uh, and you guys take care of yourself out there. There was a guy just this year and in Huntsville that had died on a unit. You guys be careful out there no matter what you do, okay? No matter what you do, guys. Okay, we got back up and going on the train. High efficiency XL 1600 variable speed. The, uh, 
2002 on this one we're in the green we're still building that pressure but um, we're somewhere around 114 outside converted to temperature and we're somewhere around 53 still climbing you got your own, you got your uh, light that comes on when you got your 24 volt hooked up on your red and your blue. Here's your red and your blue right here. They got the alligators on them. Your other wire is your wire here that connects to your motor. You're going to use this adapter here and plug it in just like that and you're going to plug in the other end you're going to plug your adapter that goes into the motor and say you're working on a 2.0 or 2.3 Gentec or GE it's going to be this 16 pin right here and uh, I'm going to give you some shots of the old uh, well I did I got some shots of the old motor and uh, uh, as you can see the on the old motor if you look the it's got this pin on top and then underneath it, there's a second pin that second pin is the high voltage this is the input pin from the board on a signal so um, we're going to leave the bottom one in and uh, we're going to unplug the top one and plug the top one in and then we're going to restore power and uh, we should have a power light on here and with this particular one they give you different uh, different slips for different adapters this one here particular one says uh, this one requires most remotes require the fan switch to be on for it to activate so we're going to turn this fan which is the F here Going to turn that one. This one's not active, so we're going to turn this and we're going to turn this one up. And this is our F. We're going to leave that up. This light would come on normally. And then if the motor does not start, then we're going to go to a cool. This should be the fan on, so, so it should run. This here is going to be our cool one. We're going to leave that on. Come over here to our cool one. Click it too. This this light should be on as well as this light for the fan. Both will be on. The motor should be in cool one now. If we move that back to its middle position and go over here on our cool two, this should be the medium to high position for the fan. And you know, Zebra has got videos on this, guys. If you want to look at it uh, and go through their videos and watch them, Zebra Instruments. It's really, really, really good uh, videos that they got sent.